Y'all don't want to yeah. eat some shit? I hate this. Because I'm plucking my nipple hair. That's $120. Ah! Ah! It's a peeing fish. God! Morning, my loves! Welcome back to the vlog. And then this is the moment that I realized I look just like the boy from Up. It is officially the next day, and guess what we're doing in South Korea today, bitch? I am wearing a baseball cap for the first time in like 25 bajillion years, and the first time on the vlog. Oh, God. <laughs> How's Korean strawberry? Whoa. Today's vlog is going to be really intense, really food based, really smelly, I'm expecting, because we are going to Korea's oldest, most famous 24 hour mother freaking fish market today, which is just insane. Like, I'm talking, if you guys watch K dramas, like fish on street carts, on street carts, Ajuma's throwing tilapia at you, Ajashi's throwing <laughs> salmon at you. Like, Why it's about octopus? to be. <sighs> it's about to be really crazy and so I just thought that this outfit was so fitting literally went out of my way to go to the Korean Zara which by the way was a pop in I don't know what it is but I just really like Korean Zara compared to the states they have way different stuff and I just really liked it let me give you guys a quick out o t d do o o t d and most of this is bought from Korea and like I haven't worn a <laughs> I haven't baseball cap in forever and I feel like my forehead is already sweating. I feel like I either look really cool in this outfit or I look like a Chinese, like, um, what do you call it? My fiance said they always dress like this. Like the elementary schoolers who go to different places on field trips and they all wear coordinated colors and baseball caps and then you have to follow in a line, so I don't know which one. <laughs> With the yellow team. So the outfit of the day, almost everything is bought from South Korea, but these cheese earrings are from YesStyle, which which is South Korean and I had it shipped to the States so I brought it from Korea back to the States back to Korea back to the motherland and then I bought this New York hat not in LA but not even in New York but like in South Korea I feel like baseball hats make my face look big so I'm sorry if like throughout this vlog I get a little bit insecure and keep saying things like that but like you know I'm trying my best and then here I'm wearing like this black bodycon dress that I bought from the States but here's the thing with bodycons usually if I was in America I wouldn't wear these like biker shorts underneath but Korea is kind of known for if you're in busy areas or subways people will stick phones underneath you so I was even thinking of like printing out an eggplant emoji and sticking it down there but I won't do that I won't be a troll today maybe tomorrow <laughs> on top I just kind of put the look together with this fisherman's raincoat-esque jacket it's just this bright neon yellow it's not neon yellow I think it's like a really good yellow and it's got the drawstrings on the bottom my forehead is sweating is really? this normal? Started the day with some purple sweet potato chips. Oh my god, should I go all out streetwear and wear these little masks, honey? This is the pollution mask my dad gave me. That's no fashion statement there, okay? So I think there are two types of masks. Mm -hmm. I think there's a fashion mask and I think that there's truly an anti-pollution mask and I think that this is one of the more anti-pollution masks because it has a filter, it's got a lot of coverage, it makes me look like I should be in a hazmat suit, so I don't think that this is, you know, trying to be supreme or anything like that. Maybe you should try it on. No. Oh, try, try, try. Whoa. I can on. smell everything. You can't smell anything? That I ate. Yes. <laughs> Take it off. You smell her. You smell her. Oh my god. My dad and my sister came to the hotel and she said, bring your damn mask. My dad said the pollution rate is so high right now. They said that this is the type of pollution that will literally stick onto your lungs. Like you breathe it in and it like is residue on your lungs. So pretty nice weather outside. It's sunny. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. It's kind of perfect with a little bit of Whoa, breeze. Oh my God, my dad's looking spiffy. You... It's because your girl Stephanie for the first time oh, ever really? is um, booked and busy today. I actually have like a in-person okay. meeting with like this Korean, one of the bigger. <laughs> Whoa, are you sure we're not gonna smell for our meeting? Oh my God. I don't understand. They just had fish this in a building. I thought it was outside. This is way worse than I thought. So, you purchase your fish here. You bring it to this restaurant, and they'll cook it for you. All of a sudden, you don't smell so bad. Did you just? <laughs> Did you? He goes. All of a sudden, you don't smell so bad, honey. That's so rude. It's the rudest shit I've ever heard. It's getting really bad. Whoa. Wait. Honey, look at these. What is that? What? what is that crab? 
That's king crab. Oh, what is that crab? That's king crab. Oh. 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 Wow! It's pink! It's a pink yeah, fish! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is this? Is this like the Nazi? Octopus! I feel like I've never seen half of this seafood! Wow! It's highly competitive market in here! These. I don't understand any of sea these. Sea cucumber. Oh my god, that's a sea cucumber? Are those giant octopuses in bags? Yeah. They oh. can just slip out. Oh, good. Oh, oh, god. This is grossing me out. Shut up. I'm getting. Oh, look at this camera. Oh. Here we are. Ten minutes inside the fish market and your girl is a little pissed and we're leaving because the smell was so intense and everyone's so aggressive. Everywhere you pass, you can't, I mean, I understand though. Also, I think it's like Asian culture. Like when you pass, I felt a little bit guilty recording and not buying things. This is so cool. They quarantined the smokers. This is not a foggy day. It's a sunny day. This is all fine black dust, AKA Misangmanji, which is all the pollution in the air today. We just got to something called the IFC Mall, which honestly just looks like the most American place in this motherfucking country. It's got Cost, Zara, Benefit Cosmetics, Lush. Literally, this is like a banging ass America Mall. So we're just gonna browse around right now because we need to make a reservation for the restaurant that we're going to at 12:30. So we have about 40 minutes to kill. I feel so bad for the guys because Andrew and my fiance have just been like tailing us all trip, just watching us shop. And I know guys hate shopping. So, but you know what? We have to wait, so here we go. My sister just mentioned this and I was thinking this morning as I was putting my money away, but all the money, like what do you call these, bill sizes yeah. are different and it drives me nuts. Yeah. Because like in the States, a dollar is the same size as a hundred dollar bill, but these, it's like, it's just triggering my just, ah. So I got a venti, which by the way guys, I'm crazy or is this the smallest venti you've ever seen in your life? And I asked for light ice, which in the States they give you just what you asked for, light ice, right? But they give you less because I guess the rest would have been ice so they don't want to give you more coffee. <laughs> they just like, they're like, okay, yeah, we'll give her a couple less cubes of ice. I'm so confused by this sizey. We've got mango. We've got tight bobo. This is a speaker, honey. This is a speaker. That's a speaker? This is a motherfucking speaker. You put your phone on top? Honey, that is $3,000. Please I don't know. break it. Oh my gosh. How adorable. Dang, Kobe, is that you? What can I say? Dang. Steph Curry. <laughs> Steph Curry. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I did great. You told me I lost. Alright, 61. Can you beat me? Are you ready? You have round three! I can't believe you got a round three and I did not. Is there a score? One, one, oh one. They stuck us in 
inside this really nice room. So apparently this restaurant is known for like high-end traditional like food for Korean food. It's pretty much the same dishes that you would expect from like one of those alley restaurants that we went to on the first night, but just like the more refined version of it. So also Koreans don't believe in air conditioning, so I've been sweating throughout this whole trip. I never sweat, but since I got to Korea, you started sweating, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's because in the States, once you enter a building, it's AC. So everyone's kind of like lukewarm. The first step, because we were confused how the courses work in Korean, and so I was like, my, Opa was like, okay, is this for soup? Is this for what? And my sister literally said kanji, and we got some kanji. And then I think, what is this for? What do you do with this? And then they gave us water kimchi, which is my favorite thing ever. It's like soupy water, fresh, delicious. Maybe this is for this. Mm. I think it is for that. Cause this is a little too delicate. Kind of light. The portion of this porridge. This is like Stephanie's half bite. <laughs> and that's it for today's video. <laughs> that's course number one. This is the most extra ass plating I've ever seen in my <laughs> entire life. But you know what? I don't even hate it. But you know what? I'm not complaining. All I want to know is where they got these plates because I kind of want to take some home. This one's really pretty. Also, this one's really pretty. It's more like deconstructed Korean food. This is probably the fanciest panchan I've ever had in my so life. Good. Okay. This is like. No, just eat it. Wait, this is just pancha? Mm -hmm. All of it? I don't like that. You don't like it? You don't like that? What I'm is so that? confused. It's spicy. It's crunchy. It's like mm. meaty. It's so spicy though. I like it. Oh. I think Opa and Appa will like it. They have some onions and some... I'm gonna take some of this fish. Let's try it. <gasps> and I'm gonna eat some grass, guys. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. This, this is... Let's not even talk about what that is. <laughs> what is that? That's $120. Everybody got silent. <laughs> it better melt in my mouth and it better spank me and call me pretty. I'm gonna go for the $120 beef. <gasps> wow. Is it good? It's good. Well, like now, $120. But it's like, um, like a good Kobe cheap good. Okay, so the rice container. <laughs> 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 it's like the most half-assed rice oh, container I've ever seen. I love it. I know. We were scared that the portions were gonna be so small because every dish is like tiny. But, but isn't that how the king used to eat, like they yeah. give you. There's like just so much. A hundred different, different types. Dishes. Yeah. He picks two things and next. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Next. One of our dishes came late oh, and they were pretty. so apologetic <laughs> that every single time like they came in to do anything else, they just kept apologizing to my sister in such a sincere way. And at the end they were like, oh, we felt so bad that we got you guys dessert and tea. So we're eating this little dessert and this citron tea. Citron tea. Citron. Wow. Is the dessert? You can buy it. This is very interesting. I yeah. thought this was going to be a piece of cake. Uh -huh. It's ice cream. Oh my gosh, so we just got out of the restaurant. I really like this restaurant and we just kept comparing it to how it seemed like how like emperors back in the day would eat because it's such delicate courses and there's so many different like little courses and just like the presentation of it all. And also he's getting stressed out because every single person is looking at me <laughs> while I'm vlogging. <laughs> he keeps giving me the look of, so you're going to continue? No, <laughs> like no, you just okay. gonna, I'm just kidding. So then... No, okay. <laughs> and then we were also talking about how because my fiance has low-key obsession with like emperors, emperors, empires, empresses. And they were saying that most plates are gold. Like I said, that those plates are so pretty. It's because when you put poison into somebody's food, the gold plate turns black. I had no idea. And then he was also saying that like in the Asian dynasties, like Korean and Chinese, like women would wear these like silver pins in their hair as like a hair decoration, but then they would whip it out before a meal, stick it in their food, and if it comes out black because it's silver, then that means your food is poison. Now we have some time to kill before our meeting in about 45 minutes, so I think we're gonna head back to the arcade and see if we can beat each other in basketball. One last round. Gotta get the one in the back. The orange one, right? What about this pink one? Or the blue one right here. This pink raccoon? I believe in you, honey. I hate this. You have one shot. Uh, Which one will you go for? There's a timer too. Hurry. Look on that side. Hurry. 12, 11, yeah, 10. A little bit. Go up a little bit. All right, perfect. Are you sure? Yeah. Ready? Three, go. two, go. one. Uh, okay, let's go. That's rigged. That's rigged. Loser. Korea, now in Paris. Wow, they have so much like taste. 
stuff everywhere. Today would be the perfect day to title this video, Spilling All the Tea. You found me? Right here. Oh, bit. <laughs> Where do we find the tall ice cream? Do you know what I'm talking about? Everybody in Korea think it's that tall ice cream that's like literally as tall as your face. Oh, let me ask that would be so fun and fresh that. for today because it is so hot outside. This is like super traditional Korean, like even wallets for $5. They have like the fans, they've got the keychains. Look at these fans. Letter opener. Looks Look like a husband thin. killer. 24K gold, boo. It's $12. For $12, you get 24 But look at what happened to our finger. <laughs> so I don't know. You're not an Asian if you don't any of, own any of these boxes at home. Oh, is that a Korean thing then? Yep. Uh, sir. It's a hot day. <laughs> That's a pen? That's a pen, yeah. That's really cute. You see all the ones behind? Yeah. yeah. Look at how cute this little street is. Everything's like super traditional. I don't know how old the buildings are, but everything that they're like selling is like the old, oh my gosh, look at these. They literally, one of the hats just says Appa, which is dad. And so, <laughs> how cute is this? Wow. I'm so sorry. Would you hate me if I asked to go in here? No. Really briefly. They literally gave you rose latte in a toilet. It's called Don Cafe. Y'all don't want some Don? Y'all don't want to eat some shit? My dad's like, would you even want to eat that? I'm like, of course. That's so cool. You have to go into a hole in the wall. I'm getting like way too excited right now. Oh my God. So much poop. So much shit. It's oh, never ending poop. <laughs> Is that, oh, that's not even a real fly. I don't know why, I completely freaked out. I thought that was a weird fly. Juxtaposition of this fake cherry blossom tree with this, confusing. I just don't understand how they can sell such pretty drinks. So that's a sweet potato latte. This is a flower blossom latte, or drink. That's a latte? No, 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 drink, drink, drink. This, like they literally put rose petals into the, hey honey, I poop flowers. This honey. is exact proof now. This is your poop. Bloody? That's so rude. Does this mean I'm gonna be full of shit now? Do you think like the stuff like this would do well in the States or just in Korea? Just in Korea. Yeah. You don't think like a poop cafe would do well in the no. States? Like, ooh, good digestive tract. There's also poop. But they sell ramen in a foil and then you cook it on like that stove top looking thing. <gasps> wow. My name is Stephanie Sue. Welcome to my life where I'm a certified idiot, guys. I'm so freaking sorry, but as I was editing this vlog, for some reason in my head, do you guys ever have those moments where you like have a dream where you thought in your head that you did something, but in reality you didn't do that? And growing up, I used to have this dream all the freaking time when I was going to school. And I would have to get up really early to like start getting ready. I would have a dream that I woke up, brushed my teeth, and I was like straightening or curling my hair. And then I realized that I thought about this all while I was in the comfort of my own bed and now I'd be late to school or work and that literally happened with this vlog I don't know why in my brain I was like I ended the vlog having a moment of like weird deja vu that never happened it's like opposite deja vu where I thought it happened but it never happened and I thought that I vlogged this because everybody has been asking in the vlog comments to see this and you guys know that I'm a paranoid certified crazy lady and if you guys are this is your first video <laughs> If this is your first video on my channel, you are in for a doozy, okay, miss? I apologize in advance that I am literally gonna be dead ass a waste of your time and a crazy Looney Tunes, but I'm paranoid to the point where I ordered on Amazon. Pretty much what it does is it finds ways to find wireless transmitters in rooms, like hotel rooms and everything like that. So if you guys watch my mukbangs, then you guys know in Korea there was a massive scandal where a lot of people were inputting these fake cameras, like hidden cameras, into hotel rooms rooms, public restrooms, and live streaming people live streaming hotel guests while they're in the privacy. The privacy, yes, I wanted to sound fancy. I heard a couple of people say privacy and I thought it sounded a lot fancier than privacy. So like now I say privacy, you know? Okay, but now I just sound stupid. I feel like it only works when you got a cool accent. So in the privacy of your own like hotel room that you paid for, you are having someone secretly live stream you on the toilet, in the shower, in bed, changing clothes, vlogging, like whatever it is you are doing, they 
they live streamed it and they charged people like $50. I don't know if it was a day or a week. I'm sure all of these platforms have different prices to watch you without you even knowing. And my dad said in a different country that wasn't Korea, I think somewhere in Europe, there was a scenario of an Airbnb where they had a hidden camera and live streamed that couple for 10 days straight without them knowing. 10 days straight of your life being live streamed. When you think you're alone and picking your nose and your index finger is shoved up to the middle wrinkle up your right nostril, you are being live streamed. Like to me, that is so scary because sometimes I do gross things that even I don't put out on the internet. Like I feel like I put enough out on the internet, but like imagine if I was like picking my right boob and like I found a nipple hair and I decided to pluck it and I was like screaming in pain because I'm plucking my nipple hairs. Like I don't want that shit on the internet, do you? So we've decided, well I've decided, because I'm a cuckoo lady to order an Amazon wire wireless camera detector so it doesn't actually detect SD card battery operated cameras like if somebody set up a well, camera you're getting real technical today aren't you oh is it too technical it's a transmitting FBI CIA manufactured detecting MBS, metal detector MBA, MBA entrepreneur KFC. <laughs> Have you ever heard of that? Have you ever heard of an Amazon detector? I've heard all of that. You heard all of it. So all we're going to try it today in the hotel room, but we're not really trying it because we've already tried it. Oh, plot twist. Yes, very shocking. Like I said, I thought I vlogged it. Scan the room, baby. So I'm going to scan the TV. Okay. Scan the TV. Scan the phone. Scan my... Oh, look, it sounded a little higher in my makeup bag. Is Urban Decay watching me? And then the mirror team. Oh my god! That's good. Oh my god, we're screwed! I'm just kidding, let me show you guys what my fiance did. I truly was so petrified, scared out of my knickers, is that what you call it? Scared out of my undies, and come to find out, you can actually troll people with this. Ready? Honey, come here, come here, come here. Ready? I know what you're about to do, okay? <laughs> so we pretty much scanned the room that night and everything seems pretty dandy, seems pretty fun and fresh, but I don't know for sure because who knows if this thing is a scam, if everything is just a scam. What if this hotel room has hidden cameras, but that company is a scam and I don't know, but in my mind I felt a lot better and I didn't really, I didn't want to redo it for you guys right now because, I mean, it was just pretty boring, like standard. We were just like running through the like walls and the, not the walls, but we were like like running the thing against the walls and all the devices to see if anything suspicious if anything went off and nothing went off thankfully except when he scammed me and he tried to prank me at the mirror tv so that was honestly so scary but i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog i'm so sorry that this outro is so just discombobulated i promise starting tomorrow things get a lot better and i know that because um that already happened guys i'm from the future <gasps> i'm future stephanie and i'll see you guys tomorrow